and welcome to a new video. I don't know why, but I've missed you so, so much. It hasn't even been that long since I posted a video, but I just miss like talking to you guys, just face to face, one on one. And today is a perfect chance to get to do that because we are going to do a monthly favorites video where I sit here and ramble about everything that I've been loving this month, beauty wise, randomness wise, bath product wise, music wise, just everything. So let's start off with the makeup. I am sure a lot of you guys have been wanting to know what I've been putting on my face. Don't know if you're interested in that. But there's not only one makeup product for the lips, but not two, but three. And those have been the following. The Mark pin clicker thing. It's like a lip gloss from Avon and it's just this great color. I think it's called, yeah, spicy and it's a great mauve lip gloss that has like a little mint flavoring and it's not sticky on your mouth but if you kiss someone I'm sure all lip glosses are going to be sticky but it's just like a beautiful everyday color. If I just go out with mascara, brows, concealer and this I am just good for the day. Speaking of everyday lip color, I think this is everyday. It kind of looks like your lips but stained a little bit of red. It is the NYX Butter Lip Balm in Red Velvet. It smells like red velvet cakes. It is just so pretty. I'll put a picture right here of when I was wearing it and I just love red lips as you can tell today. This, what I'm wearing today, is also a monthly favorite. It is the, I'm so gonna butcher this, Guerlain? lipstick brand from Sephora and yes it is like James Bond edition you go like this and it magnifies to itself and has a little mirror I call it James Bond lipstick because I mean if James Bond was a woman she would have this it's just so fancy and snazzy and too great for my life and it is so expensive I get attracted to lip colors by just the color don't look at the price or anything and I get it which is so dangerous and I love this color because it is like a goldy orange tone red and it is just so beautiful the pigmentation is great quality and it just slides on and glides on some hints a shimmer in it very moisturizing I absolutely Absolutely love this and would pay as much money. It's such an awful amount of money. So ridiculously. This is the most I've ever spent on a lipstick. I can see why the packaging and everything. It, if you are wanting to splurge on yourself or give one extravagant present, this is the lipstick. I don't even remember the color of it. I'll put the links to everything down below. Speaking of makeup, I was very joyful when I had the chance to speak with Dolls Kills and they sent me some great, great makeups. And this is absolutely one of my favorites. They are not paying me. No, I just love this. It is by Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill is such a great brand. I've always wanted to do buy some sugar pill products and use them and the sparkle baby palette with the little kitten just look at this packaging it is what like strawberry shortcake mixed with disney princesses mixed with the care bears would be like and just look at these shadows the pigmentation in these are amazing they have one called Kitten Parade, Frosting, Candy Crush, and Hotsy Totsy. I used this in a makeup look for my Instagram and a lot of you guys loved it and I absolutely love using Candy Crush which is this teal blue like baby powder turquoise color and the Frostings. All these colors are great and I absolutely love using colors like this for spring just putting in some turquoise and blues in the shadow area around springtime with all of my floral everything and one last thing for makeup I got a hold of some Sigma brushes and I thought these would be a joke the 3d HD precision brush is my absolute favorite they are these angled brushes and they are very weirdly shaped and I didn't understand them at first but when I used this on my under eye concealer I used it in my last makeup transformation it was such a beautiful thing the quality of these are amazing they have this one found for foundation I don't recommend this for foundation in my opinion it leaves streaks like paint like but what I would use this for is some very high contour Maleficent style or just you want a very defined contour cheek for going out on the town with your friends like I said, I thought these would be a straight-up joke but they're not playing especially this one <sighs> one of my all-time favorites it gets right like on the lash line right toward your eyeball but not on your eyeball it's just a great thing and I'll make sure to put a link down below where you can get a promo code for a discount off if you ever want to purchase these because this one is definitely definitely worth the money 
Another very fancy thing that is way too expensive to apply to your face, if you ever want to treat yourself to a hydrating mask that's going to like just make your skin brand new, it made my skin so soft because with all the harsh chemicals and makeups I put in my face for makeup transformations for special effects makeup, this product, the Glam Glow Hollywood California, so fancy, even the bottle thing's cute. I got the baby one because it, like I said, it's super expensive. This Glam Glow Hydrating Treatment Intense Mask, oh my goodness. First of all, it smells like caramel, pecan, pumpkin pie, no joke. It even looks like something I would eat and smells like something I would eat. You put it on your face and leave it on for a good little while. I think I leave it on for no more than 20 minutes. And I have the most sensitive baby-like skin in the planet. So if you have the money to spend at Sephora and you don't mind your face smelling like pumpkin pecan pie, my type of jam, I would try this out. Next is a brand new product, I think. I have never seen this in stores. Maybe I'm just like dumb and haven't seen it before, but Sally Hansen came out with the Miracle Gel line of nail polishes that make it last longer, and this one is called Game of Chromes, and I wanted it because I'm obsessed with old antique gold frames lately, and this reminded me of it, the gold in this nail polish. I'm like, I want my fingertips to look like antique gold. So I got this, and I absolutely loved it. I'm not wearing it today, but this is such a great quality. It lasted very long, probably a week without chipping, which is pretty good for a straight-up nail polish without any of the stick sticker things I've been obsessing over lately as well. The next thing is so magical and great, and it is bath products by Witch Baby Soap. These two, specifically, all of her stuff is good, and then she makes it from home in small batches, all natural ingredients, and the Fairy Milk Bath Potion is just as magical and great as it sounds. It's this powder, white powder, filled with flowers, and it smells like, I don't even, can't explain to you, this is my favorite all-time smell of anything on the planet. That's how much I love this. If, I don't know what heaven would smell like, but it might smell like this. Because I love floral things and I'm allergic to flowers, but I'm not allergic to this for some reason. There's real dried flowers in here. And it smells like cotton candy mixed with flowers, mixed with like a buttercream that's on cakes. Mixed with like some extravagant, beautiful woman perfume. But you get like four capfuls of these and run it under your water and it makes slight little bubbles with flowers throughout your bath and it just smells so delightful. <sighs> All time favorite scent in the entire planet right here. Next from Witch Baby Soap is the Enchanted Berry Shimmer Butter. And you get a little bit dab of this and you put it on your skin before you go to bed and you just let it soak in for a good 10 minutes before you put clothes on right out of the shower. And it smells like, you know those 90s Bath and Body Works scents that are very like sweet and kind of overpowering. It smells like that a little bit, but a more sophisticated Victorian version. It's like this light blue, beautiful color, and it came with like all this frosted stuff on top, and I'm like, this is made for all of the wonderful princesses in the fantasy world that I am not. And it is just like such a great smell. It smells like blueberry pie mixed with Cool Whip, <laughs> that sounds weird, but I can guarantee you it smells a little bit like lavender and some jasmine in it, but I'm not quite sure. It's very like calming and sweet. I think that's why I love it so much because I love sliding this on my body before I go to bed, like I said, and then just laying in my sheets and I just feel like I'm in a jasmine blueberry garden. Next are two things that were recommended to me by my bestest of friends, one being Bunny aka Graveyard Girl on YouTube and she told me about the speaker set that I had to get because I've been on the hunt for a good speaker sound system for all my music and I got it. It's the House of Marley, I think it is. I definitely know it's called Marley, but it's this wooden speaker that you could wirelessly or just directly connect it to any like iPod or iPhone or anything and listen to your music and it's such superior great quality. I don't know what I was doing with my life before I got this. It is made with all reusable materials and this like gorgeous dark wood finish. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's very lightweight so I could travel with it. I feel like go to the beach if I feel like going to the beach ever in my life with friends and or put this in a car on a road trip or something. Even though a car probably has a sound system but but if you want to go like spend time with your family and you want some tunes to listen to, this is so good. Speaking of music, my absolute favorite album this month has been Hosier. I hope I'm saying that right. Such a unique 
interesting cover of like his face is in his face it's a picture weird but my friend Chelsea she went to my makeup school and she's been in one of my YouTube videos I absolutely miss her so much and she told me about this guy and I love the music I've been listening to this non-stop he's like a mix of the black keys with southern blues mixed with a slight tinge of Sam Smith that's how I can I explain it's really hard to explain him he has very passionate heartfelt lyrics and they go from really upbeat to sad whenever I'm nervous anxious or sad about something in my life or I'm going through something I just listen to this and I swear to you on a drive somewhere even to get some like tea or coffee and listen to this it just brightens my day so much so guys that's the end of my monthly favorites video I hope you enjoyed this leave me a comment below on any type of great albums lately I really need some new ones to listen to I like almost all types of genres of music I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today I love you all and I will definitely see you soon in another video hopefully see you then bye